This video is a selection of the new and updated features we're excited to share with you from the February 2022 release. The full list of features can be found in the February 2022 version 20.22.2 release notes, which you can find on Brightspace Community. This month, we're highlighting the following features. Enable learners to see only the courses meant for them with Discover, Role, and Custom User Attribute-Based Access to Courses. Make editing and organizing intelligent agents easy with the changes to the Intelligent Agent List page. Improved accessibility and user experience with Brightspace Editor's additional page attributes, language, and title. Make grading faster when viewing learner submissions with original similarity score on view submissions page. And finally, a summary of the changes made with all the other features. Let's have a closer look at this month's features. In Discover, administrators can now configure role and custom user attribute-based access to individual courses. For example, a university has professional development courses that are only visible to instructors, or a company offers leadership courses that are only visible to managers in specific departments. Navigate to your course offering information page and scroll down to the checkbox Make this course available in Discover so learners can self-enroll. Click this checkbox to enable it. Then, click Add Enrollment Rule. Select either a custom user-created attribute or role in organization and enter the desired attribute value in the field. The number of users matching the rule displays below. To add multiple conditions, click Add Another Condition. Otherwise, when finished, click Done and then click Save. The updates to Discover implement Pi items D5670 and D1000. Thank you to Laurie Wendt from Parkland College and everyone else for your Pi suggestions to implement these features. The Discover features this month are available to all core clients. The change visibility in Discover permission is required to create rules. However, users with the Manage Discover permission can still edit the Featured section. These features have the following accessibility impact. WCAG 2.1 Success Criterion 2.1.1 Keyboard. The Intelligent Agents Tools Agent List page now has several new features to help you manage the agents you've created. You can create and assign categories for your intelligent agents, allowing for easier organization. And the new Bulk Edit button allows you to edit the title, category, and or active or inactive status of multiple agents at once. The icons, denoting active or inactive state, have also been updated. In your course administration, navigate to Intelligent Agents to reach the Agent List page. There, either select the agent or agents you wish to edit, or click New Agent. To create a new category, click on Add Category and enter the name in the corresponding field. Once you've finished, click Save to create the new category. The category is automatically applied to a new agent. To assign or change the category of an agent, select an option from the Category drop-down menu. Click Save and Close to save your changes. You can view your agents organized by category by selecting By Category from the View drop-down menu and clicking Apply. To edit multiple agents at once, click the checkboxes of the agents you wish to edit and select the Bulk Edit button. You can only change the title, category, and or the active or inactive state using Bulk Edit. To save your changes, click Save. The updates to Intelligent Agent List page implements Pi Item D7196. Thank you to those who put forward this Pi suggestion to implement this feature. The Intelligent Agent feature is available to all clients and is automatically enabled. It has the following accessibility impacts. WCAG 2.1 Success Criterion 1.3.6 Identify Purpose. New to Brightspace Editor, the Attributes menu has a new Page Attributes tab, where you can set the title and or language of your page. 
This means that users of assistive technology are provided descriptive information about what they are viewing. Note that the Page Attributes tab only appears in Legacy Content, Lessons, and Custom Widgets. Instead of adding your titles and language manually, there are also two new configuration attributes that do so automatically when enabled. These are d2l.tools.content.applyPageTitleElement and d2l.tools.content.applyPageLang attribute. These both are off by default. The new permissions are only for legacy content. The Page Attributes tab can be found when creating or editing any HTML page in Brightspace. Click Other Insert Options and then click Attributes. The Page Attributes tab appears at the top of the window. Once completed, click Create or Save to save your changes. The Brightspace Editor updates are available to all clients. To enable automatically displaying titles, set the d2l.tools.content.applyPageTitleElement configuration variable to On. By the same token, set d2l.tools.content.applyLang attribute to On to enable automatic display of language. Previously called Urkund, original similarity scores give instructors viewing assignment submissions an easy-to-use plagiarism detection tool. The higher the percentage score, the more similar the document is to a document found in original's body of content. If Brightspace fails to retrieve a similarity score for the document, a warning icon is present above the percent similar icon. The original similarity score displays beside the assignment. Click on the percent similar icon to view a detailed report. The original feature is available to all original clients and is automatically enabled. Finally, let's take a quick look at the other features for this month's release. New look, same mission. Brightspace is getting new visual branding to better reflect who we are today and will be in the future. We'll be updating default logos and icons over the coming releases. Improving your experience with classic content as you make the print and download buttons visible in full screen view. Data Hub is adding the last modified by column to existing data sets, allowing you to capture learner attendance more effectively. And lastly, upgrading and improving your security by enabling Magic ETL version 2 and making Org Role ID a trusted attribute in Insights Report Builder. We hope you enjoyed this month's release highlights. As before, you can get the full detail of this month's changes in the February 2022 version 20.22.2 release notes on Brightspace Community. See you next month!